Yeah, this is Joe Grand, SM1. Right now, you're watching Cut the Chat. Make sure you stay locked because it's going to be some serious talking going on. Welcome to another edition of Cut the Chat. This guy's got me all discombobulated. <laughs> We're going to get into that. But it's me, yours truly, Sexy Dread with the Lisp. As you can see, little man is absent. Last week, he rode his push bike from Essex to the barbershop, just about made it. Last I heard, at about one o'clock, he said he's jumping on the push bike. It's 8.30 now, we still ain't seen him, so let's just wish this guy... Good luck. Good luck. To my far right, I'm not even going to say anything horrible to you today. Thank you. I'm not going to say anything horrible. I've got children, like, they might watch this one day, like, you know, like, just the abuse. We should have, like, a section. We should have an edit where we edit together from all the shows, all the different <laughs> horrible things that you said to me on every single show. Why? Just because, like, they do that on, like, TV all the time. But the worst thing is you're funny. acting like it's not true, though. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm like, all right my observations. I'm all right. You can say whatever you like. I'm ready. I'm, I've have had, like, five years. Like, four. When did we start cutting the chat? Like, 2010? I don't know. 2011? A while ago. Yeah, a long time. Oh. You have become more used to it, though. It's fine. But anyway. And then, um... <laughs> well, as you can see, Ace... Is it here also? There's a big fat Ace set shaped. I I did hear that Ace was on the bike ride as well with Lee. I don't know if man was getting a backy or if Ace was on the handlebars. You know, like when the BMX, like you got the man on a like like an ET type situation. So I don't know. Both of you, wherever you are, I hope you got your phone lights. home. I hope you got your home. Yeah, phone home. Phone one of us and let us know you're safe. In the centre, you lot know him. As Joe Grind. I now need to give this guy a different name. I need to call you the future. Because what we've been talking about before we started. I'm a, I'm a futurist. I'm a futurist, not the future. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How are you, young sir? I'm fine, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'm not even that. that even, Actually, what, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I be cool, Jim? That's the question. I swear I'm probably like, like your age. Yeah. I'm old, man, still. Let's not get into it. He's old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> look at his uncle's old, you know. Yeah, I'm old. I've got his uncle's old, you know. Yeah. Ah, see, he just looked like. Don't the watch them uncles there, you know. That no uncle's way. sitting there. This is an old man you're sitting right ah, next to. <laughs> But what's going on? How are you, sir? I'm cool, man. Everything and nothing. You know how it goes, man. I'm just, just here, bro. Just glad to be done. Thanks for Do you know me. what? Let's just start, yeah, with this app that you've just shown us. I'm sorry, it's random, like, to start with the app. But because it's on my, it's on my yeah, mind, yeah, yeah. so we might as well just get it out of the way. Yeah. Tell us about this new app, Periscope. Well, Periscope, but... Well, I'm not gonna promote it, let's like, say. I'm no, like, no, you're not. You're, you're not. You're not. Saying, you're not, like, not Periscope, okay. you have to pay Joe, like, yeah, yeah, you know. Because you know that the man would be saying, no, Joe Brandon, he's a billionaire. No, no. Let's promote it. You know what I'm saying? After getting some sticky situation up in jail. Like, that's it. No, but, no. Um, but tell us, like, obviously, you come in the shop and you yeah. told us about this app. Like, you told me about it earlier, and yeah. I, I was trying to explain to the guys how it works. Well, it was, like, was it? it was my... Yeah, I didn't know. Obviously, you know. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. Tell the people about this app, because I think more people need to know about it's, it. It's a, um, it's a streaming, a streaming app. That, like, so, that you stream and um, all the other streaming apps before that. It's just a streaming app that you have on your phone. And um, it's made by Twitter. So, you have to have a Twitter account to, to access it. And then basically everyone you're already following on Twitter or whoever's following you, they will be automatically following you or you'll automatically following them if you get a Periscope um, app. Like Snapchat um, or Instagram, people can comment on it, people can like it. But like Snapchat, as I was saying, um, it disappears within 24 hours if you let your feed upload. I, I thought it was going to take over, like everything. News, interviews, everything. Well, we've been on it for about... An, an hour, hour. Yeah. <laughs> and some of the the, the the most influential people when it comes to media are on it already exactly exactly that we've seen like what they're like you know there's the guy Stuart Murphy who's like runs the channels at, the entertainment channels at Sky he's just on yeah on Periscope like the at the airport and just normal. streaming like you know and that's like that's an important person just yeah. there you're watching them and you can 
you can send them hearts and you can yeah, send yeah, them a yeah, message yeah, 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 yeah. and all of that just live and direct right so quickly before anyone starts thinking what certain man was thinking of you know we can start or certain man can start streaming certain yeah, messy the videos people, they really got what, snapchat for that you what, know what I'm so what what are you saying are the benefits for this and who do you think that this will benefit most I can't say who would benefit most because everyone ain't got the business man. So mm. if if it was in front of everyone had my minds, it would benefit everyone. You know what I'm saying? You can see how things work, whatever, like right away if it was me. But the thing is always that, like, right, let's say I'm sitting down, I've got 300 people, they're watching my stream and whatever. I know I've got 300 people's attention right there and there. You get me? So I know I can take advantage of it. Where at Twitter, I've, I've got 11,000 followers. But 11,000 people don't see my tweet right away. That's it. 11,000 people would maybe not even see my tweet at all. Simple as maybe 500, 2,000 of them, whatever. If I've got those 200 people watching my thing, I know there's 200 people. That's it. I am talking to 200 people. I can take all the advantages out of all of that. Simple as I can promote whatever. I can make a proper discussion. I can get their views. I can be in the studio and be making a song and say, Rob, what, what are you not saying about this one? Okay, this one, and I can know what song the banger is going to be for next year because I can have that amount of people. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you, it's, it's all live. So it's, it's live, it's interactive. Because I, cause I, as you're talking, I'm just thinking, okay, I could use this. I thought I could use this for my little one because she lives in Australia. Yeah. But then I thought, I've got Skype. And you've got FaceTime. And I've got, I'm, well, I'm on a Samsung, but I'm yeah, on a Skype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then I thought to myself, well, the benefits are I can have a direct one-to-one video uh, interaction. interaction with more than one person, exactly. which is what Skype and all these other things just give you one, one-to-one. This yeah. gives you one to yeah. 2,000 or one to yeah. 10,000 or, yeah. you know. But I'm just thinking, because in my head I'm thinking, all right, well, I'm on Twitter. I'm also going to subscribe to Andre from around the corner. My man just walking around all day streaming foolishness yeah. you know so that's where i went with, with who's going to benefit but yeah if you're as you say if you're business minded and you've got something to offer the people obviously people don't you can do whatever like, but how please. do you like how do you like seriously like i'll be honest i know you're into gaming and all of that because i follow you on instagram and i and, and i follow you, follow you on twitter i know you're into all of that like how did you like do you feel like i've got many questions <laughs> but i'll start with the first one like you're a rapper, first yeah. and foremost. Like I'm, you were introduced, I'm, 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 you were introduced. I'm a recording artist. You're a recording artist, yeah. yeah. But you were introduced to the world, yeah. yeah. I found out about you yeah. through SM1. Yeah. yeah. I found out about you through like gigs is mixtapes. Yeah. I found out about you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, like when did you develop an interest in tech? Like on this, like to this extent. Yeah, but I've always been in, in, in interested in tech. That's the thing. All right, where it is is that. Alright, let's start from the beginning. You said yeah. you've only heard man from SM1 mixtapes or whatever. So you only know so, mu- so much about me. Everything yeah. I've spoken about on a song. But then all of a sudden, MySpace came out, and then after I started writing certain things and everything, you learn about this and so on. Yeah. So. And, then, and then Twitter comes out, and then I start writing. You know what I'm saying? You only know so much about me because of my persona. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the things I actually put out there. So if I don't put out there, you won't know. That's the reason why I like this thing here right now. Because, like, Everyone knows that a business, you have to be personal, per se. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, to like your favourite artist, the reason why people like the Kardashians so much is because they see the Kardashian show. They see that Kim has a heart. They see that Chloe is proper on this thing of rare and so-and-so. You like your people more because at the end of the day, you thought to yourself, you relate to them more. Yeah. When they do something, you're like, ah, oh, that's so funny. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, all yeah. kind of stuff there. That's, that's what it is. So, nobody knows so much about Joe Graham when it comes to tech and rare, rare. I've always been into this stuff. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't need to tell everyone I'm a techie, blah, 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 yeah. so and so. It's just stuff that I do. And that's always, if people choose to go further into detail with me, then they would have found out. And that's always, really, I've been in So, music-wise, music-wise, where are you at now? I'm always in music. Like, what, what's, what's, what, 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 what are you working on at the moment? Like, where, like when, when's your album coming out? Like, all, I'm sure you get all these questions. Yeah, all yeah, time. yeah, all the time, but... I'm not working on anything. I'm working on Joe Brands. Yeah. That's what it is. I, I always have, in music, I grow older. So I need to find myself. And then after this, come back and find my place in the way the music 
um, let's say the music industry is going right now. That's all it is. So now you've got the new artists, the Stormzy's, the um, Section Boys, all that kind of stuff there. So they're changing the whole music the side. Yeah, you know course. what I'm saying? So now I need to find myself again. Not find their sounds, the sound that's being made in it, but I need to find myself again and then put myself in it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not putting out no projects right now. I'm not putting out no albums, rare, rare, and so on and so I'm just making music because I enjoy making music. I've always enjoyed making music. And that's just me. So uh, have, you, have you and your brother been always been into making music? Like, yeah, always been into making music. We, we, we used to collect all oh, reggae, raga, dancehall, rap, all that kind of stuff there. Furthermore, I was saying to someone the other day that um, when I was in primary school, we used to listen, we used to watch Stay Up and watch um, Young TV raps. <laughs> and <laughs> the funny thing is that I'm, I've always been from Peckham. But you know when you go to those schools that, my mom sent us to a good school. And when I was in school talking to people about Young TV rap, did, oh, did you watch that last night? They didn't have a clue what it was. <laughs> the funnier thing is that they used to say, what, you listen to rap music? You listen to rap? <laughs> and then, and I used to think, so, bro, am I strange? Like, <laughs> like, 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 am, I, am I a weirdo? That kind of stuff there. And it's, it's proper mad. But, but now, as a grown man, and I've got a child, I know that at that age, you're not supposed to be listening to music like that. You're supposed to listen to the radio. You know what I'm saying? You're only supposed to like the commercial songs. You're only, mm. sp- you know what I'm saying? That, that's always, so you, so now, the kids of primary school, they were like the Beyonce's and the Rihanna's and Re- they, they like what their programs like. And then you get to secondary school and then you start growing that's into true. your own and you start finding out who you truly like or what you truly like and whatever, whatever. So when I got in secondary school, that's when I found friends who were like, yeah, man, you on TV raps, where is it? Because I remember when Will I Am first came out. I remember when Black Eyed Peas first came out, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? But I was speaking to brothers about it in primary school, and they didn't have a clue what the hell I'm talking about. Let me speak to them about it now, and they'll be like, no, bro, you don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, they don't, they, that, that's what it is. So I've always been into music. Like, but... But did you ever, like, did you anticipate, you know, like, the reception that... You got got when like I remember when SM1 came into the scene. Like you changed yeah. rap yeah. in a way that it became road. Yeah. And like it was like real road guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. really talking about road things yeah. on records. And no one went doing that at that yeah, time yeah. in the UK. But that's what I'm, that answers the question. Yeah, we did. We did anticipate it was gonna happen. We you did said, anticipate. We did. You knew that was gonna happen. Look at the thing always, as you said, no one wasn't doing it. No one wasn't doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't take something that's so passionate and everyone truly believes in you and it's not going to happen. I can walk into a room with anybody and say to them, listen, I'm going to release that and so and so and it's going to be wicked and rare, rare, rare. And they will feel my passion. And from they will feel my passion, it's going to happen. You know what I'm trying to say? There's no way in the world you can truly, someone truly believes in something and it's not going to happen because they will make sure it happens. And we believed in what we was doing. We went to the studio. We was paying £150 for eight hours of studio. Yeah, and sometimes it wasn't even me or Gigs recording. It was other members of SM1 and we was paying their cab fares to get there and cab fares to get home and rare rares and so on and so on. And these brothers that we're paying for, they didn't want to... Some of them will say, oh, I can't come because rare, rare. Bro, I'm paying for your studio time. All you got to do is turn up. So that's why them man, there ain't SM1 no more because they never truly believed. Yeah, mm. when man truly believed that we was turning up, we was putting every single penny we had into this thing. These times, as you said, we was on roads. You know what I'm saying? My line's ringing, bro. I can't afford to be in the studio laying down music <laughs> when I could be out there making how much money. But... Fuck that, but forget the, forget the music, forget the road and everything. Man's making music, because this is going to happen. And that's it. And it happens. That's so, what it is. Like, so, like, you know, SM1, like, how big was SM1? SM1 at was it, about, and like, what, how many members did you guys got? We had around 15 members. Wow. About 15 members. Women and men. Like, was it like you, did you, got, was it like a so solid situation where it everyone was grew up together you know what, and everyone was just, like, like, there were people that were around and they were part of the clique or... It, it was basically, we had our batch and I knew so-and-so, and, but so-and-so had his different batch when he was around that area and then he brought them and said, yeah, we've got a rap team. and then they came over and so that's how I met Kaz, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew Kaz since I was proper young and that, but I never knew his back. And then, um... There was another artist in SM1, I'm not going to mention his name, but there was another artist who was in SM1 and 
he used to roll with Kaz differently. But he used to be in a, in a music group with Kaz before he came to SM1. And then Kaz heard about SM1. Now I remember because it was mad because he proper cussed me after his like, because he was my bro, he was, he hung around with one of my brothers. And I used to call him Jeep. He looked like the Jeep, that, that's the, the animal Jeep from Popeye. But, um, but like, we, we, uh, we, that's st- funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we started up our own radio station and Kai's called up one time and said, yeah, man, yeah, I've got a lyric right around. He spat. I was like, your shit, man. Love it. And I'd love to the phone him. You know one's there? Like, Did you notice him? It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. You know one's there? Like, it just didn't matter. I thought it was whack and that was it. So I looked to the phone then. A few months later, it came and he was spitting. And I didn't like him. But Geeks liked him. There was something <laughs> in him that Geeks liked. And obviously, like, me and Geeks started as someone. But... Geeks got his say, I've got my say, cool. Geeks, you take you bring him in, yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. looking after him. Yeah, you know what yeah, 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 yeah. Then I feel always yeah, like, but I, I was always biased against guys because there was another light skinned guy in, in the group called Grazer. Yeah? I shouldn't mention names, but there was. Yeah, but and Kai's never liked it. Now but, the you went jail and Kai's was saying, oh, no, I don't like this brother and everything. These times that Kai's just got a test one when the you went jail. The youth came out, I'm like, yeah, man, what Grace is going to show for this how it's done. Has done. And then Grazer comes out and he's like, yeah, no, I can't be an S1 no more. Mom said that she don't want us in it. I'm like, Rob, Rob. Ah! I'm like, Yes! Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Rob, Rob. I just finished backing you for a whole year, cuz. So anyway. It's real. <laughs> Mumsy said I can't come out to play no more, you know. I'm also like, hey, so, rap right, no more. So anyway. <laughs> Kaz has still got this feud. Although me and Kaz are friends, me mm. and Kaz still got this feud of Kaz, I don't want you spitting there, someone. And rare, rare. Until one day, me and Kaz made a song and we called it um, Stars in Your Eyes. And when Kaz was spitting his lyric to me on this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop fronting, bruv. You're a hard MC. Furthermore, you're probably one of the hardest I've heard and everything. And on this song, I remember I said, I won't lie, I won't bring him in then, I'm bringing him in now, we'll work up all, you know what I'm saying, I'm tired, tired, spitting everything, like, throw on that track and that, and that's, like, Kai's believed, you know what I'm saying, he stuck around, he believed, mm, mm, the rest mm. of them ducked out and rare, rare, like, that, the whole thing was proper crazy, but as I said, it was people that knew people, that brought people, that brought people, that rare, rare, and we, at one stage, we, be- me and Geeks believed in these people, they never believed in themselves, they ducked out, we still believed in the team, the team's still here. So how, I mean, how do you how do you go about motivating young talent that have got other things on their mind like making money? Because I would assume if, if you know if I've if I've landed on you lot yeah. at a young age yeah. and you lot are trying to show me the vision but I can't see the vision, yeah. I need to make paper. Yeah. How do you kind of inspire young people to believe in themselves? That nah, stick around. It's coming. How, 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 how do you put that into people? You remember when you were younger and, and, and the, um, the old, the old I'm going to say the, the grown-ups used to say to you, yeah, man, don't, don't do that. Like, everyone's been on the road. Everyone's been doing that. Someone's like, yeah, don't do the drugs, man. Like, rare, rare, blah, blah. But them old people never had no money. They never had nothing. Them man are still living in council estates and rare, rare. Like, you can't see anything behind them. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, I work mad hard. I've got a 10-year-old son. I work super hard. I get, uh, the other day, I've got trainers from Nike. I made sure he was there when I picked them up. And I, and I said, open the package. He opened the package. I said, what's that? He said, trainers from Nike. He gets free, get, I get free games. He gets them. And I make sure the companies know they're for my son. My son comes to my video shoots. My son came to see Stan Lee. Stan Lee's one of my idols. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the friend that makes all Marvel comics. Yeah, Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, he, I made sure that we've met him and everything. Like, we met him for free. All that kind of stuff. Got bought in by a company. All that kind of stuff there. To answer your question, I show a man, you know what I'm saying? I show a man that this is where this stuff gets you, yeah? Because those old men never had anything to show me. They could they say to me, don't do this, but you didn't do this, and now you ain't got nothing. I'm doing something. Mm. This is what I've got. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go to a little kid. It, imagine you're 10 years old again. You're doing your bad rat shit. And I roll up to you in a rusty punto and rare, rare, no teeth, blah, blah, and say, bro, <laughs> listen, no, no, don't do rare, rare. You're going to be like, low it, man. Low old man. You don't want to be like a bummy yeah, guy. You don't want to be like someone like you. You have to be, kids aspire to be people that appear to be this doing is it. stuff. This is it. So the mm-hmm. thing also, so imagine that. That's now, why that, like, you, you see, like, kids in the hood want to be sports stars. They want to be, like, 
drug dealers. Football, they yeah, yeah. Because like you know like footballers and all these people, they flash their wealth. Yeah, of course they do. And so like kids are kids that's believe right. in what they see. Yeah, of course they do. They aspire to what they see. Yeah, but yeah, but that's yeah, but that's the thing, isn't it? Like because young people, are, they haven't got they haven't got four visions. They're super fi- they they're super superficial. Vision, that's it. No, I've never actually thought about it. Like that's the truth. It's the insight. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. imagine if I did rock to you in a Bentley. I don't, I'm not, I don't drive the flashy cars. Not kind of, I'm not into that world and everything. But imagine if I did come to you with a Bentley, nice watch and everything, rare, rare. And I'm a proper humble guy. And I've got a nice girl and rare, rare. And I say to you, listen, young man, li- little man, F off the drugs and everything, bruv. I can see something in you. Mm. What are you saying? You're into music. I know you're into music. I heard your thing on YouTube. Keep pushing that. Keep pushing that, bruv. Because I kept pushing, man. This is where I am. This is where this got me. You want to get in the studio, bro. You're going to work harder than ever. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you know for yourself, yeah, man, it's true. I could be the next race, like so and so. Like, and as you said, you never saw it that way. I never saw it that way until I got to a certain age. And that's made me work harder than ever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing a, um, a, a, a charity run next week, Saturday, for breast cancer care and everything. Yeah, and I thought to myself, right, cool, if I do this, Joe Grand does it. People might see themselves right. You know what? I'm gonna do. Yeah, it of actually. course, of course. Because even even the old age that I am now, I see certain people doing stuff yeah. that I wouldn't even think about doing, and I just got to raise the eyebrow like, no, nah, you're grinding yeah, with a yeah, thing. That's, that's it. it. But I mean, I mean, back to you, back to your name. Mm. Like these lot. No, mm. if you see our cut the chat uh, WhatsApp messages, mm. them and I like, yo, we've got this guy on. Damon, we know you don't know who he is. <laughs> they, they just tell me straight. We know you don't know who he is. Go Google him. Yeah. Do your research. Yeah. Do you understand? They just, they just got to hit me up like yeah, that. Yeah. Today I'm in here and they just bare kids after school. And I'm like, yo, like, you man know Joe Grind? Yeah, why? Why one? Why one? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, fam. Wait, slow down. What, is he coming on? Uh, let me come. Do you know how many youths was in here today? Like, yeah, let me come. Let me come on the show. Let me be on the show with him. I'm like, wait, who is this guy though? What, what? SN1. SN1. I'm like, wait, SM or SM? <laughs> you know what I'm like, SN1. Then he's like, yeah, it's blah, blah, brother. Then we got it. That's why that's on. We got it up on the TV. Yeah. Started playing man's tracks and all this. I'm like, okay. And then they, they, one of the guys said that you had like, I can't even remember what it was. He used to say something. Or say a little phrase. in, in damn fam. What's that? But damn, fam. That's the one. Yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> when one week said that, <laughs> man, this man there said, yo! I said, okay. And then they played the, um, your video, the, the, the Grand Theft Auto yeah, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm looking at it like, oh, oh, that's my man. Yeah. And then that's my man. I said, like, okay. So then even with that, kind of links into you being this mad tech guy yeah, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I suppose no one really knows about. And now sitting here now, it's like, okay. It makes sense. It kind of makes yeah. sense well, like, now. How do you like, how do you like, you're like this artist, you're this brand, you've got your music's out there, you gigs, everyone sees you guys doing stuff and like, you know, you're, you're moving on in the world. Yeah. How do you separate the fact, the stigma that comes with being from Peckham, mm. being from Road, like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you're like at Radio One, when yeah. you're like, do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Pre- like there's presumptions about, oh, you know, it's the Peckham boy. Like, yeah, but they feel always. Do you know what I mean? All right, you gotta understand, yeah. For one, I'm from Peckham, innit? I've done stuff, innit? Like simple as my, I, I've, I've rolled with brothers that I've done stuff, blah blah. I'm never gonna separate that from me because I think that's me. Yeah. Yeah, and that's sometimes people need to re- be reminded that's what you've done and everything. But at the same time, like. I roll with real gangsters. Man's real gangsters. You get what I'm saying? Like not not um, like bad man that will rap to you and beat you up for no reason. That so and so. Real gangsters, as in like you disrespect me. I'm gonna make sure that you you understand why you disrespect me. I'm gonna make sure you never ever do that again in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's that's old school real gangsters. That's what man is. And I've never met anyone in my lifetime or that's that's ever disliked myself or my brothers. Cause at the end of the day, real gangsters get respect. And their due respect when they when they when they speak to people, you know. Once mm. there, I speak to a man on the level. Mm. I let a man know on the level. I beat man down. No, 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 no. no I'm not saying as a as on the biggest no, no, bad no, man. Yeah, no, no. I've beat man down, helped man up, got my money from man, and said, "Let's go to lunch." You know what I'm saying? Like, but to, no, but I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no but I'm saying, I see. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, yeah, day, yeah. Like, I'm not a bully. Yeah. You know There's a saying? difference between between being a bully yeah. and a gangster. Yeah, I see, I, 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 I see what you're saying. You know what you used to call cool guys that character from Tim? That's bullying, bro. No, 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 no. That's bullying. That's what he was like. I remember it was in the party. That's cheap, man. But but 
<laughs> but you know, Islam, that's, that's me. Because you got to understand, Jay. You see me? I have a mind. My mind's way up there. Yeah, so if I don't give you a name sometimes, I'm not going to remember you yeah. unless I know you from something. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I know you from movies. Yeah. You know what's there? I know you from this. You know what I'm saying? So that like, thing always, if I don't know you, like when I didn't know, man, I had to give him my name. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I didn't yeah. give you a name, I yeah. would never remember you. Well, you know, I, was, I, I was in Toronto a few years ago, and you know those bad Jamaicans in Toronto? Mm. You should call me English. Yeah, that's what's good. That's 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 what's good. That's normal. That's yeah. normal. Yeah. Yeah, that's standard. Yeah. yeah, that's standard. Yeah, I got called that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. what? And you know the worst thing is when I'm over there. When I was over there in Jamaica with my dad, and then man, are calling me English, and then. Like a week later, I, I started g- walking slower. Walking slower, <laughs> no shoes on, no yeah, yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rara, I was one of them. Yeah. That man, I still call him English. English. I'm like, how do you know, bro? <laughs> how? How do you know? I'm darker now. Rara, I got a little mole. I'm like, how do these people know? Strangers. But um, back to you. You know, do you actually want to cross over? Do you want to actually want to do crossover music and come out of the rap a bit? No, no. I, as I said, I'm a recording artist. I don't, mm. I don't know what cross no over is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll make the music I want to make. I don't make the music because it's big and it's number one and certain songs. I do whatever the hell I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't do, like this. Is, this is, this may come out like my girl calls me no filter. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> I say something. That's that's my girl. My sister called me. It's called me no filter because at the end of the day, sometimes it comes across. Like, wrong. I don't know how I've said it, but I say it straightforward. I'm always honest. But I don't give a fuck for my fans. Yeah? Like, literally, when it comes to my music. Yeah, I love everyone. I'm, I'm mad grateful for every single listener and, and wherever. Yeah, like, so I give everyone my time and I would sit with everyone and rare, rare. But when it comes to making my music, I don't give a fuck what anyone was there. Yeah, I mm-hmm. make what I want to make. You know what I'm saying? I make music for my car and my car only. And it's that good that I share it with people. So there's no such thing as crossover for me. Yeah, I'm not going to make a music because at the end of the day, I thought to myself, yeah, man, this is going to be the big one and blah, blah. You know what's funny that you say that? Uh, a few shows back, we had Terry Walker yeah. on. And she made an album yeah. that she's, she's not fond of. Yeah. You know, and she more or less said the same thing. It's like, yeah. you know, record companies and, and management will kind of like, well, you know what? We've got to go down that road. Because, that you know, that's what's popping off right yeah, now. Of course, and if you're money. not feeling it, Irrespective of how professional it looks, if you're not feeling it, then I suppose it, it kind of falls in line with what you're saying. That's like it. it's not real and it's That's not it. part of. So like you know, like Giggs has had um, record deals and yeah. like he's had. I don't know. Is he in a deal now? He's in a yeah, deal yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so he's yeah. like a deal. Like he's you know, excel has been. A, no, he's been in Excel like yeah, 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 period, yeah. right? So like, Excel is like one of the biggest labels in the world. Yeah. Like independent labels. Like yeah. they, they've got the artists. They've got your Adels. They've got. Over the years, they've had Dizzy, Prodigy, yeah, like yeah, people yeah, that yeah. people respect yeah, of course. within the music thing, yeah? Like, you know, like, how how did that change things? Like, for obviously, I'm, I'm asking you a question that relates to gigs, but at the same time, I suppose it relates to you because you're part of the whole movement. How does that change things for you? Did that change things, or did you just say, I did those guys just say, do your thing? That's what I couldn't, I couldn't tell you about it, as you said, you're asking a question about gigs, I couldn't tell you anything about it. But, like, how does that change? But, how does that, that change the, the team? team it, it didn't change the team. Now, we still make music. You and just don't so make whatever music you like. And, and we do what someone does. We make the music. We, we, we get in the studio and we do whatever we want to do. And that's, that's literally it. No label's never going to stop that. Is and it challenging? Is it challenging like, for you? Like, is it weird? How does it feel being an artist and you and your brother do the same thing? Is there like sibling rivalry? Like, I've no, got two boys. But that's the thing. I've got two boys. <laughs> yeah. I've got two boys. They're three. Yeah. Three and a half and then two. Yeah. yeah. Three and a half and two. And they compete all the yeah, time. Yeah, they yeah, fight yeah. all the time. Like, do you do you have that sibling rivalry within music? But uh, within your music, uh, one you got to remember it's me, Geeks and Gunner. Yeah, we are all three brothers. Yeah, and we're all in the same team. But I don't make the same music as Geeks. I don't make the same music as Gunner. Geeks don't make the same music as Gunner. Gunner don't make the same. You know what I'm saying? So the thing always, there's nothing to compete over. Like, mm. I'm gonna say what I'm saying. Geeks gonna say what he's saying. Gunner's gonna say what he's saying. Where's the yeah, there's, there's competition, yeah, there's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, there is no debate over who's right and wrong because, for one, I'm not Geeks' age, I'm not Gunner's age. We are all different generations. I see things differently. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, so a man can't tell me what to tell people what I'm seeing. Yeah. That that's that. It's not ever gonna be no competition or blah blah. So I'm doing what I'm doing. He's doing what he's doing. He's doing what he's doing. He's not asked about mad fights back in the day, though. Nah, nah, I think she's just beating me up. I'm not even going to listen to it. That's, that's what it is. I said, no, it but was not that, a no. fight. Straight, straight down, straight down. On the equivocal, like, yeah, just used to beat me up. Yeah, just beat me up, that's what it is. You know, like, I'm, I'm, like, one of my favourite videos, I've been coming to the premiere, I think it was one of the first few times I actually met you. Yeah. When I came to the screening of, um, is it Gangster? Yeah. I loved what you lot did, like, yeah, with the yeah, five yeah. heartbeats and that. Like, you know, like, what was it like working, like, just random? If you haven't seen that video, watch it. This is a question for me, really. Like, what, like, have you always wanted to act? Like, what was, because I liked your little yeah. intro bit at the start where you, like, you're, you guys are all waiting for gigs and all of that <laughs> stuff. Like, have you, did you, was it hard performing, acting in that? Never, no, nah, no. Nah. I've always wanted to act. Up to this day, I still want to act. You know what I'm saying? I aspire to act, man. But I just don't, to, I just haven't. Thought to myself, woke up on there and said, you know what, I'm gonna act now. That's what I do. I will go and act my thing. But other than that, no, it was it was nothing. Like, uh, come on, I'm I'm I've got personalities. I can show them rare rare. That's it's as simple as that. I loved it. That video was one of the best videos we I've, I've filmed. Like that, for me, that was one of the best videos I've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, UK. Yeah. Obviously, we know the five heartbeats. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you watch the video, like yeah. what those what the guys did. Like they like literally created scenes from, from the, the film that's what i'm saying but well, like you know like film. with the with the like you know everything was on point right. though yeah that's it like you know the like costume everything like, it, it. Was, it was direction was so on point it was fly man that's a fly <laughs> video like, like i think for me it's still one of the best it's like top three I think, videos I think i've it seen is. in the uk I ever. Think it ever that's what i'm saying i definitely think it is from like you know from uk black music but like, um what what else are we to look out for, for from you like because like you know like, Rappers, yeah, are getting older and older. Kanye West is old. Mm. Jay Z is old. Mm. Pharrell's old. All these people, yeah. like, you can rap for longer. Yeah. Like, do you plan to rap to your fifty? I plan to just do what my heart tells me to do. Like, so do you? You know what I always thought with that, because you know, like, like with reggae, mm. so you have a reggae artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at some point, it's almost like they go, they 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 go from reggae to like a revival yeah. artist. Yeah. <laughs> You understand? Yeah, yeah. And I've always thought that about rappers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. At, what, at some point, do you kind of, is there like a revival rapper type? <laughs> you understand? Because if, realistically, now is the kind of time when rappers are getting older, but yeah. they're still rapping because there's still money and your yeah. fan base is in it. And because there's more access for the fans to you. Yeah. You know, so as Femi said, like, have you got like a, like a, like a, a, a ceiling on when you're going to stop rapping I, and I, maybe cross over to acting or? I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, what, mm. wherever, wherever, so and so on. So, you know, I, like, I do as I do when I wake up in the morning. I literally just have that feeling and I get it, and I get it done. It's like the, the, the Grand Theft Auto over there, you saw. I woke up that morning, I got in the shower, and I said, shit, the Grand Theft Auto over there, and that was it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I, it's, I don't plan stuff like that. If I, if I plan it, it's not real, is it, man? Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like, it's, it's not that. So, I couldn't tell you what age I would ever plan to stop rapping, because that's the plan. You know what I'm trying to say? But all I know is that at my age, there were still a lot of people going through certain things and they don't know how to express themselves. So I will express myself for them and they will understand exactly what's going on. You know what I'm saying? At my age, I like, it's, it's like when we was younger, listening to the Brian McKnight's and the um, Boys to Men and all that kind of stuff, that we didn't know what love was and sex and all that kind of stuff there but you listen to it and you get an understanding you know what i'm saying mm. and it helps you go through certain situations i know people are going through certain situations still up to this day that don't know how to express themselves so i'm doing it for them so until i lose the words to be you're, able to do this keep putting it out. i'm gonna keep putting it out that's it like for me um as I said, my ears not to the street. Mm. You understand? And, and even and, though you and work in a barbershop, it's like, not. I, like I, I, I hear about it from, from the youngsters. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, a, yeah, I'm yeah, around it, it, but I'm just working. And and, and like, like I, w I went football the other day, and I, I was I took one guy, and he goes, yeah, let me play some stuff, and he was playing me. Like I think Blaze Brown and bloody blah. I said Blaze Brown. Is it Blaze Brown? What's his name? <laughs> Blaze, Blaze Brown. Blaze, Blaze, Brown. Blaze, Brown. Blaze, Blaze Brown. Blaze Brown. But anyway, so so I'm saying to him like, how do you keep up with all of this? You understand? But that I'm I'm, di I'm digressing. Basically, like 
what I did want to say is, is I remember when you lot landed. Yeah. And the reason I remember when you lot landed because you lot just created a storm. Mm. And and from what I from what I can remember, it wasn't a good storm. You understand? But I'm going on media yeah, yeah, and right, yeah, yeah. them yeah, yeah. and and them and yeah. How have you, kind of, kind of, you and and your your brothers and the other members of SM1 dealt with the negative media, and, and kept going and kept pushing through? We grew up in Peckham. There's always been negative media on us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the different. But at one point, you just bust through the doors and you're in the yeah, line. It, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm from an area that. I can come up to West End and help an old lady across the street and she'll mm. be thinking I'm trying to rob her. Yeah, you know of course. I'm trying to say, so I've always been used to that stereotypical image of myself. Like, who cares what anyone says or blasts out of so-and-so? I'm doing this. So what, you just say, basically just ignore, ignore it. that and just, and just kept who pushing cares? through? Keep, keep going. Like, if, you, if, you take to, if you're going through a door mm. and you've got time to look right, that door's going to slam on your face. You know, once there, you never know when it does. You better keep going. Mm. That's it. You ain't got time to like. Sometimes you ain't even got time to even stop and appreciate what's going on. You know, once there, you got to keep going until you know to yourself. You know what? Cool. I'm comfortable in this place and I ain't going nowhere. Let me chill. That's it. But the thing is, you can't look around and, and wait for people. Do you know how many stories I've heard about myself? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, bro. Like, you know how many times gigs has died. You know what's there? Like, uh, it's, it's, yeah. This, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's it's mad. If you take yeah. time to, to to listen to all that rubbish there, then yeah. So like you know like Peckham, yeah. we've mm. referred to Peckham a few times. I was like, there the other day. Yeah, you see like Peckham. Yeah. Mm. That that says a lot. Say to that says a lot when a man can say I was there the other day. Like <laughs> like I like I left the country. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is the truth. Back in the day, you probably wouldn't have been able to go to Peckham the other day and say, Yeah, I went on the road to Peckham. Mm. What do you think about like the gentrification mm. of Peckham? Like, cause that's that's your home. You've known Peckham all your life, mm. like, and you can't deny that Peckham's not what it was yeah. back in the day. What do you think about the whole like the gentrification change. of yeah, that but, area? Yeah, but London's not what it used to be. You know what I'm trying to say? So, if you think about that, if you think about that. You know what I'm saying? Peckham, of course, is changing. Mm. People are moving out of Peckham. People are going to jail. Furthermore, they certain people never even got to raise their kids to actually show them certain things. Mm. Maybe they show, may have shown them the bad way or the good way and whatever. So London in a whole is changing. It's not just Peckham. So then, so what's that word they use again? Sorry. Gentrification. Like yeah. everyone's getting kicked out. Yeah. Like you know, like that. Like Hack- the, Hackney's a, a classic the, example. Hackney's a classic example. Like Hackney, like was like it started in Shoreditch. Yeah. It started in Old Street. Mm. <laughs> then it went to Shoreditch. Yeah. Then it went to literally, and so like all the all the all the working class people, yeah. all the like, what made the areas what the areas were, yeah. it's like, it's, it's, it's losing its soul. It's and so now it becomes like, like the, the young wealthy people mm. move into these areas yeah. and like, you know, and then it becomes gentrified and it becomes something completely yeah, different. Like you go, I go to Dawson now and I'm so shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Of course. I go, every time I go to Dawson, I'm confused because it's like a different place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but is it a good thing or, yeah, or, no, or, or, or a bad thing? thing? It's, it's like, like it's it's evolution. Do you think it's a good thing or it's evolution, thing? and that's mm. what it is. Peckham never looks. So there's certain places that man lived before we was born that mm. never looked how they lived. I mean, looked when we was born there. You know what I'm trying to say? So I mean, it's evolution. Things are changing. It's like only fools and horses was in Peckham. Like, yeah, so I'm but to you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you know what's funny? There, there's certain things that you associate. With, with affluence mm. and with poverty. Mm. And they said, if you, if you have more than like two betting shops on your high road, if you've got them no-name chicken shops, you understand? And, and if you've got pawnbrokers, the then you know you're in the hood. Yeah. And they say, if, if you've got a Foxton's and a Costa Coffee, you understand? Mm. And I've mm. seen them in Peckham. Mm. Like we was rolling through Peckham on Sunday and there was a cost, Costa Coffee, not yeah. Peckham on, I think, uh, where is it? Where, where, where was we? Um, on, the, on the gyratory system there. And it was New Costa Cross, Coffee, Newcross. New Cross. New and it was Costa Coffee, yeah. and then there was a coffee shop next door that was Cost a Less. Yeah. Or Cost Less Coffee. And he's like, right, this is what you man are doing. <laughs> For disrespect, right next door. No, but quickly, because we've got you here, you know about apps and you know about tech. And what, what are the top tech things, top five? Like tech things that we should look out for in like 2015. No, we're going to do two. We're going to do what's the top five that you must have now? And then what's the top five that you need to look out for? The top fives are the social networks. Twitter, Periscope, Instagram, Snapchat, 
and um, SoundCloud always will be. There always will be social networks. Mm. When you really think about it, right? Remember, Facebook started off as you find that your friends are rare, rare now. You know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and people truly believe up to this day. People still truly believe that Twitter is getting your emotions out. Where your emotions really, it's it's just letting the the um, the businesses know what you want you know what i'm saying that's that's all they are now even facebook and everything now oh, it, oh, it, that's what the hashtags are for you know what i'm saying you think to yourself i'm just making up a new hashtag so and so no 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 these people are behind the computer searching your hashtags trying to find your money so the thing was if you're a businessman i would say you find them social networks you stick on those social networks and you make money yeah because at the end of the day you're going to find exactly how to push whatever you're pushing on all those social networks if you're not a businessman, I can't tell you what the top apps are. You go and play a game or something. What's that game called? Gumjumps or whatever it's called. Oh, no. <laughs> Candy Cone or whatever it's called. But that kind of stuff there. Go and do that kind of stuff there. But if you're a businessman, you, you stick to the business. So you, that's it. And you stick to all, all those marketing apps. You made a good point earlier before we started filming. Mm. You had you said you had a discussion about the do's and don'ts yeah. of social media. Yeah. And one of the ones that you said was you can't unfollow people. Uh, the, um, the unwritten rule. Yeah, the yeah. unwritten rule, yeah. sir. You can't unfollow people. And as you said that, I kind of laughed because I learned that the hard way. Yeah. Because I blocked my daughter. Yeah. Because I posted something up that I didn't want her to see. Yeah. Blood. I was ringing her for about two weeks before this. Yeah. She was just not answering my phone call because she's too busy to speak to her dad. You see when I blocked her on, on Instagram? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> she quickly yeah, picked yeah, up the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. Dad, you blocked me. Yeah, you can't, I said, listen. You can't you can't this is what I said to her. I said, listen. I'm going to ring you in five minutes. No, don't ring me. Oh. I said, wow. You know what I spoke to her? <laughs> when I re-added her on Instagram. <laughs> then she, so it's real. It's real out here. People, real. people actually take this seriously. Yeah. yeah. So and what it, are the rules though? Because like, I, 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 I'm not on, I'm on social media, but I'm not on it hard. Like, I'm not really. I've got Snapchat, but I never use it. And are like, you on Snapchat? I'm, I'm on Snapchat. I've been on, on Snapchat. Snapchat. The mad thing about Snapchat. I have Snapchat. I found out about Snapchat from Kelly Brook. Yeah. Like two, three years ago. And she was on, I was doing a film with her like two years ago now. I was doing a film with her and I was on set and she was on Snapchat all the time. Yeah. Because I felt left out, I got Snapchat. I tried it and I was like, this is not for me. Like literally about a few months ago, like I'll say black people. Yeah. <laughs> all my black friends. I've got Snapchat. I've got Snapchat. Got Snapchat. And they use using Snapchat, but I knew about it time. Yeah, like there was a stage. I knew about Snapchat when I thought Snap, like when people were saying Snapchat was going to die. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> When we, like, literally, when Kelly Brook was on Snapchat, a few months later, I read articles saying, yeah, Snapchat's not going to work, it's not going to make money, it's not going to die, they lose it. they've reached their capacity, like, you know, it will never go beyond yeah. this. And it hadn't really blown mainstream. Now, everyone's on Snapchat. Yeah, but everything revert. All right, all right. Do you not remember that time when One to One had the... You can call people's voice voicemails. Yeah, we spoke about that the Snapchat. other day. You spoke about that the other yeah, day. Yeah, I'm saying, that's Snapchat. Yeah, when you really think about it, but now it's Snapchat with a video. Yeah. And that's all it is. Everything goes round. Everything. That's all mm. it is. So, when you f- when, where was you when you were filming this for Kelly Brook? We, we were in like, Crystal Palace. Like, yeah. we were in London. We were, right. we were, right. Right. Literally, right. we were in Crystal Palace and we were in King's Cross filming. But, but she's American, right? No, no, she's, oh, she's English. She's English, yeah? yeah, yeah oh, okay, okay. UK. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't tell you then. But the thing is always that either it fades out and it rushes in, or rushing it fades out. Or oh, certain things just stick around and whatever, and so on and so on. Like Twitter, Twitter never rushed in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, like, it, it came in slowly and then afterwards it stuck around. And that's all. That's what Snapchat is. Snapchat, is a, that doesn't really that's it. It's not going to stick around. There's nothing actually, I don't even understand it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 a, there's a score system on there. That one, yeah, I don't understand that score system. I, I, I see Snapchat, yeah, as, you see Instagram. Mm. Instagram seems a bit more official. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it stays yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snapchat is just foolishness that yeah. you don't care about. Yeah. You understand? With Instagram, that's there. Do you know what I mean? Any yeah, yeah, everyone can go and say, once, it's, once you watch it, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, at that's first, that's I wasn't really honest Snapchat because I just thought it was foolishness. But, yeah, since I just throw out foolishness, you understand? Like, I, I will film someone doing some foolishness in the gym or whatever. Yeah. But I know it's just a quick thing. Yeah. It's, just, it's just, just just minor, really. I'm, not, I'm not on that Snapchat stuff. So what other apps, apps, what other apps should we look at? Is there anything mm. else? Because you just showed us about Periscope. And like, I'm like, I feel like you must know some other things that we need I'm to I'm saying do. one at a time, young Jill. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, like, you know, I've told this guy before I'm going to call him every day. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. WhatsApp. I'm gonna call him once a week and I'm gonna be like, bro, what's the app like? What are we doing now? Mm. Like, what's our app like? What's the what? What's the mm. next thing? Because you know what? I, like for me, I've never been introduced to something where it's like. Rock this makes so much immediately, sense. Yeah, 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 immediately, yeah, yeah, yeah. it made sense. This makes That's so it. much like sense. Like, it, you know, it like, it's not, it's not, it's good to be like, you know, current with these yeah, things. It. And it's like, I, th- I thought I was current, but yeah. you just completely blew my mind. Yeah, but, you're three, but it's three weeks old, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? It's three weeks old, so you're not really. Yeah, but there was one that landed a couple months ago. You remember that app, Fuse? No. You don't remember that? No. Was it Fuse? The, 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 it was like a Snapchat, but you could, you could, you could, you could do like 3D videos. Bro, what's Joe Brian doesn't know about what's, it, a free, what's a 3D video? So basically... You could be in the phone. Nah, I take a photo. No, 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 a, a 3D picture. So I take a picture of you. Yeah. And the way I've got to do it, yeah, so that when, when he looks at the, the picture, is if you move the camera to the right... Yeah. It, uh, it goes round, uh, but uh, but okay. to do, but when I've realised to do it, I've got to do all of that. Yeah, of course you do. To you, and then I'm thinking, well, no, that's just that's just Instagram. That's long still. It's just Instagram. He says, why am I going to do all of that yeah, round yeah, your yeah. head that's when it. I can just do a video? Yeah. yeah. And everyone said that's going to pop off, and it hasn't it now. Hasn't. And that, that was way before. I can't, Christmas. I can't see it popping off. Nah. Well, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, um, for joining us. Thank you so much for coming. And like, you know, it's, it's been it's been. Um, Insightful, like to say the least. Like, it's yeah. Very insightful. Can we do what we always do quickly before we wrap up? Well, like when we have musicians, you're a rapper. I just need your top five rappers. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say no. Like, no. Why? Why? All right. Myself, gigs, gun archives, done. You're one of them, man. I don't. I don't. I don't listen to music, so I couldn't tell you anything. I don't listen to new music because no one's saying anything that makes any sense. No one's saying anything from here. And if they're not talking about at heart, then I don't really want to hear your lyrics. So you're not feeling a two-pack, a Nas, a K, a yeah, one? They, yeah, but, yeah, but that's, oh. that's, that's, that's that, isn't it? I listen to all that music there and everything. Mm. Yeah, so if you want to talk about all them kind of people, then yeah, cool. But the thing is that um, I'm talking about right now. I'm saying of all time. That's of what all I'm time. saying. I'm talking about right now. You know I'm, I'm talking about all time. I'm talking about my team. They're, they're, those, those are my favourite rappers. Those well, then, are, well, those that, are the that's people. standard. But outside of your team. Outside of my team. Outside of I your team. I would say Ludacris, Tupac, um, yeah, KRS One, definitely. Redman. I don't know. I don't, Missy. Oh, that's, okay. That's, that's all right. Yeah, line. yeah, yeah. It's a nice and line. I like that. That's left of mm. the like, usual. Who do you feel in the UK? Though? Like, you know, like this, we had a um, Swiss in it, and he, he was like, you know, uh, like saying a few people that he liked. Who do you like? I don't listen to music in the UK. I do listen to UK rappers and everything. Yeah, but as I said, all the music is sound the same right now. Mm. Yeah, so. I don't, um, Storms is going hard. Section boys are doing their thing. Yeah, but. Like, as I said, all the music just sounds the same. That's all. So Stormzy's already making music that's already been made, yeah, except for he's the only one that's bringing the passion back to whatever oh, it is. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I haven't that. heard what Stormzy's done, what mm. Stormzy's doing for a long time, and that's all it is. Yeah, mm. so that like, energy went out of Brian. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So, so, so my right. man truly believed that he's going to do what? It, grab it dead. I'm doing. Mm. I'm doing something. So mm. so. No one else believed that. And that's why. That's the reason why Storms is where he is. He just got generic, and he, 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 he the believed. Same he believed, and that's it. No one is gonna stop a man that believes. Finally, is there any up and coming artist that you feel from anywhere in the world? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> the, what, the, nah. Do you know what's funny? Nah. Do you know what's funny? Yeah. The worst thing is, I don't actually think you're being an arsehole. Because you know you have to, you ask that question to some people yeah, yeah. and they're just being an arsehole. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I don't even think you're being an arsehole. I just think, yeah, you're just, yeah. You nah, have to show really. me something that, that's, that's worth liking. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, anywhere in the world, Neff, you're talking about that, um, that, those two, are they two brothers? The Ray, Ray, Ray Shaman, Shaman, or what? Is that what they say the name? Is it Ray Shaman? Shaman? Ray Schroeder. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not saying anything. There's nothing that they're saying. Yeah, show me someone that's actually saying something. They don't listen. You know what I'm trying to say? But if you're not saying anything, then why should I sit there? Like, it's like people listen to Drake. I don't listen to Drake. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, 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 no, 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 no. no, no, no. I, I'm saying, I don't listen to Drake. Like, I, I don't know if he's rubbish or good. And I said, I don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah? But it's because when I hear some of his songs, yeah, my man, I've, like, I've heard... I've been in the car with people, they play mm. music or wherever. Or heard it on the radio. 
And my man sounds like he is good. Like that no new friends. Yeah, he sounded like he was saying, bruv, listen, I've got something important to tell you. You don't listen to me, man. No new friends. <laughs> no, no, so, like, so he sounded like he was going to say something so depthful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So because behind his tone, there is no depthful words, my, 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 it, it switches off. So that's how it is with everything. Like, you ain't saying anything in depth. You ain't saying anything that's worth listening to. You ain't saying anything that's going to make me look at my life and think, you know what? Cause, but does all, but <laughs> does it. all music have to be that? That like I mean it's entertainment at the end of the you day. You need to show you need to show your own um, what's it called, innit? Show your variety. That's it. Show me that you can say something. Show me that you can make me think. Mm. Show me that you can make me have fun. Show that all those artists I named, yeah, can do that. Yeah, Missy can Missy that one minute man song. Made man think to himself, bro, hold on. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red, red man did everything. Red man made you think certain things when you're smoking weed and blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Pac was a fucking poet. He made you think about the world in mad, from mad perspective. You get what I'm saying? Like, show me your angles. Show me your perspective. Show me everything. Like, don't just show me your straight walking road and, and whatever. That's what Joel Grant does. That's what Geeks does. That's what Gunna D does. You know what I'm saying? I can make a sexy song for a girl. Furthermore, I can make a love song. I can make a song for my brothers that are, that are in, in the bin and everything and make, them, and make them feel that they're at home. I can make a song that friggin' that, um, for my brothers that are dad and everything. I can make a song for my son. I can make a song for my son's mother, although me and, me and her ain't cool and everything. But you know what I'm saying? I can do all these things and everything. I can make a man be like, you know what, bro? Yeah, man. It's, I like this song because, see what I'm saying? Mm. The only reason I can say I like this song is because right now is because it's a vibe. There's nothing else. That's deep. All right. Thank you. And on that note... <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to steal my fun there. Yeah. <laughs> Respect, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Safe sir. Up.